Hey, 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 Fox Den Hunting. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. I just got a new quest. This is Who is the Strongest Fighter in Mondstadt? It talked to Patton who, about recent conversation. It is a special quest that comes about. It's a story quest. Uh, when you get to a certain adventure rank, you can unlock the story quest. You just need the like, commission keys. And it's about Klee. So, you know what? Let's do it all together, right? Why not? So we need to go talk to somebody in somewhere. Oh, I, I just picked the wrong quest. I don't want the trails of Tanika. I want who's the strongest in Mansat. All right, so we gotta go this way. I love how it just lights up the trail of quests. All right. Music's a little too loud. Recently, all the customers of the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Hmm. Must be someone who can pour a whole gang of hilly trolls with just one punch. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh my god, they're talking about the U.S. elections. Aw, <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, Paimon. That's really funny that they're talking about the U.S. elections like that. Okay, the true treasure has started. I want to change settings. Dialogue's up. Let's see that just going higher. Talk to everyone, okay. What'll it be today? That's better. The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly. That's what Paimon was getting at. Okay, Paimon. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Alright. What would you like? Hey, amigo. <laughs> Six fingered Jose. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? I like how it has amigo, but it's amiga, because it's not a female. That is funny, that the, the voice actor automatically thinks it's going to be a male. Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. Hey, good. Just in red? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. 
Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. It is. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? Paimon is a treasure. Mm. It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I. I do not know her name. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm. Doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Come, my friend. Wine and adventure. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Wanna join me? <laughs> Best training ever. You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Ah, uh, Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! Oh, it's daylight. Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine, too? No, but I'm finding out who the strongest uh, in the fight is. The strongest fighter of them all? Well, that would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> and she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. More than that. Patton was right about one thing. Everyone has an option. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Well, we can just ask the Dark Knight. Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. <laughs> Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Thank you, Paimon. What would you like? All right, so let's go talk to Jean and find out who the strongest is. Alright, Jean, what do you say? Hm. Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Paimon was 
was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. Um, something's going on here. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs. Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. I guess so. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Okay, so I had to find an Abyss Order mage. So it's gonna be not too difficult. Hey, girl in red. I wonder that is who that is. Suspicious, suspicious. Are you all right? Huh? Huh? Aw, cute book. Bumping into you. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, look. Oh, it's a random note. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded by thy woe, explosions can hurt people. Shooting can be dreadful. Mod shot be bombed. Cleave be doomed. Aww. There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monstad be bombed. Cleavy doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. <laughs> so cute! Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Clee. Aww. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition, yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's Gone. Aww. Is it buried treasure? Exactly what Paimon was thinking. Yeah, I could call her out, but I'm not Plus going to. Treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here, here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Um. Starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Exactly. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go. So cute. Okay. Alright, so I need to go to the Whispering Woods. Oh. Now this will save some time. Right, so, into the whispering woods we go. Your treasure's gone, but you see okay, since I'm running so much, I think I do have a stamina thing, right? Yes. Find the treasure trove in the woods. It's gonna be up here. There it is. Oh, hey, that's from the beginning of the game. Oh, hello. I was wondering about that. We're here. This is the place. 
place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty <laughs> hole in the ground. Um, hi. <laughs> Creeper at the corner. It's an abyss mage. Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. What's that in his hand? Explosion, explosion. <laughs> Weird auto tune there. Hey you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight. This sounds like Paimon auto tuned. What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft, and fluffy. Uh. Game's up. Now hand it over. Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> Almost sounds also like Zim. Auto tuned. <laughs> Time to rain cutter. By royal decree. Nice and spicy. <laughs> Careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. This mages are the bad guys. Yes, they are. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, this guy's a little stronger than usual. Hmm. But if we could just get him to give it back. Oh, hey, there's. Oh, the abyss mage. He just disappeared. What's going on? Okay, look at the. Oh. Someone needs assistance. Like, this is new. Nope. This is all it's supposed to be. It's a little puzzle. Break those towers. And that should open up a portal. A gateway to a domain! The Abyss Mage must have snuck inside! <laughs> oh, poor Klee. Klee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No! I'm coming with you. Okay. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. <laughs> Mr. Fluffball? Oh, so cute. <laughs> Don't worry. Klee is a big girl. Uh. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go. All right. Into the portal. Wait. Wait. Uh. Oh, okay. It's hidden. Yep. There we go. That's our party. I have... Basically, I need three supports. I'm going to attack. Oh, hey. We got Klee as a child. Aw. Let's see. Boom. Little bombs. Charge is a big bomb. Cute. <laughs> Oh. Free stuff. I'm a loot horde. I always do that. Okay. Oh my god, it's little tiny bombs and everything. Oh, that's cute. Oh my. Oh, that's a treasure. Oh my god, that's like, uh, Q's alt.
Okay, I need to break this guy's thing. Well, I'm happy I have my Claymore with me. I know it's not doing any damage. I just want to break this guy's armor too. <laughs> so much damage. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, there's treasure back there, I bet. Just not bad for three free sigils. Pitiful amount of premature. All right. Uh, I attacked. That is actually okay. Say that's that's really easy. Just run through it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, she does so much damage. Oh, Klee, so strong. Yeah. Trying to break this guy's shield. There we go. So much damage. Uh, don't want the chest. You followed me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. Her Klee's alt is the treasure. But this is as far as you will get. I think not. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learn that your little red friend had in her possession the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no. Uh, I think this guy's being silly. Oh! Did he just... He just... He just boomed himself. That was epic. My number one is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on. Why is she guarding her not? Seems like it. Oh, this is off. Well then, let's head to the Knights Headquarters and 
report to Jean. That, that, that was off a little bit. Um, I'm on my chest. It's one of the dudes in the Ballard. And the Primogen. Well then, that was an interesting little side quest. Oh, Cleo's so cute. <laughs> Alright, time to go back to Monstrat. Oh, I like how that Abyss Maze just basically killed himself. Oh, that's precious. That is precious. Clee, welcome back, Clee. Clee, you're here too. I, I turned myself in. <laughs> oh, so cute. Huh? I, my, my bomb. I, I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Oh, jeez. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? This misunderstanding. But, but Mr. Fluffa was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Uh, yes he did. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. What? What? I don't get it. She's too young to understand this. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. She is. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it! Paimon understands now. They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Oh, God. Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Yay, we're so happy for you. Honorary night, you've got come to whoop de do it's a happy ending yes it is except except what Clee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with uh i um were you trying to blow up the fish in starfell lake again what i wasn't i swear i wasn't uh she's giving us that look that means play along Clee. i'll see myself to solitary confinement <laughs> What the heck? on bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Aww. Find the door to the confinement. Okay. I'm guessing it's here. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. <laughs> no, I, I can't. Clee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Oh no. <laughs> um, when you say treasure, <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Oh my god, she reminds me of Borderlands. Oh god, she reminds me of Borderlands. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Yes. 
To be continued. Oh. Oh, that was cute. Oh, that was extremely cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the story as much as I did. Oh, please adorable. Until next time, Foxies, have a good night. Late alligators. Peace.